Well, wow, Dave Rennie is the Wallabies coach. I wasn't going to do a video today because my voice is um, is a wee bit croaky with a sore throat that I've been having, but um, I couldn't avoid it with this news. Uh, the news out a few hours ago, maybe five or six hours ago now, uh, that Dave Rennie has been appointed the coach uh, of the Wallabies. He was in the race uh, for the All Blacks job, but has accepted the offer. Uh, with the Wallabies, so he will be with them until the next World Cup in 2023, so it's a four-year deal for him. Uh, he's long kind of been one of the favorites for that role uh, with the Wallabies, and one of the questions they asked him, uh, says Dave Rennie, about accepting the Wallabies job was kind of, why did you pull yourself out of the All Blacks race? And he basically said that uh, the, the talks with the Wallabies, Rugby Australia, have been going on for quite some time, or was the All Blacks thing uh, kind of came in quite late in the piece. So all the groundwork had been done uh, for this Wallabies job. So uh, he's going to progress with that. Um, yeah, and uh, and start work next year. So it's an interesting one because he's the second guy to pull himself out of the, the hunt for the All Blacks job after Jamie Joseph confirmed his extension with Japan. So... Not quite sure what that says about either the candidates ch chances or the way that rugby New Zealand rugby has been running things or maybe they're looking at the front runners and thinking maybe it's not realistic. I'm not sure. I mean, Dave Rennie just, just said it was already kind of already underway with Australia. So that's kind of the reason uh, they did ask him about what kind of style he expects to be playing. And uh, he said basically that um, he wants to kind of coach towards the, I guess, Aussie DNA, the Aussie way. But he um, he mentioned like quick ball, attacking rugby, being brutal on defense, all this kind of stuff. But then also he did mention having a smart kicking game, which I don't know if that's a direct dig at Michael Checker or if it's just a um, just a statement. But uh, yeah, that's what, that's what he said. Um, he also mentioned about his first step kind of being uh, getting a, a good coaching group around a management team. Uh, that's still not confirmed who his assistants and whatnot are going to be. But, um, yeah, getting that coaching team around him and he's going to start building relationships with among the Super Rugby coaches to ensure uh, that they're all on the same page <clears throat> and that Aussie Rugby is kind of going in the right direction. Uh, his current contract with Glasgow Warriors is going to continue, so he's not going to be able to start with, with the Wallabies, um, like kind of boots on the ground until next year after the the northern hemisphere season is over so he's going to be joining the wallabies kind of wait uh, late in the piece he did mention that um during the six nations when there's a a break he's going to be able to go over and, and spend some time in australia to to at least start building those relationships meet the super rugby coaches meet the players and all that stuff and i guess kind of set them to task about what he uh he envisions is going to be going on and they also mentioned maybe uh, once his assistants are appointed, then they will be able to start the work kind of on his behalf and he'll be able to do some of that work uh, remotely, which is not ideal, but I guess he didn't want to leave Glasgow in the lurch, which is a good testament to his character. Um, so he's got a good relationship with Scott Johnson, who's the director of rugby. They've worked together before because uh, he was based uh, in Scotland before he went over to Australia. So that's that's good. He, he sang Raylene Castle's praises as well, which I guess is his boss, so you got to do that. But... It all sounds encouraging um, on paper. They did ask the obvious question about an Aussie option because he's another foreign coach uh, of the Wallabies. And Raylene Castle basically just said that they they looked at the Aussie options, but there wasn't one at the caliber that they needed for this job at the current time. Uh, they accepted that that needs to change going forward. So Scott Johnson, the director of rugby, is kind of tasked with, by I guess 2023, having... Uh, coaches with the experience to potentially step up at that point but um yeah for the moment they did talk a little bit about eddie jones but with his contract for england they kind of ruled that option out so uh yeah basically he is uh he's the best candidate that they could get who wasn't uh wasn't australian they seem pretty uh pretty happy with that so um yeah it's an interesting one um Paul from Driving Mall, who's uh, another YouTube channel on rugby, mentioned an interesting point on Twitter that uh, Dave Rennie, when he had the success with the Chiefs, had Wayne Smith as coach and uh, sorry, assistant coach, which is a, it's a good point because um, Wayne Smith has kind of that Midas touch. Most of the teams he helps out tend to do pretty well. Uh, and it's an interesting parallel because Robbie Deans, 
there was a lot of fanfare about his joining the Wallabies at that time, you know, um, well, he could have got the New Zealand job, but didn't. And um, he's another guy who famously had some good assistant coaches. Steve Hansen was his assistant at the Crusaders. Um, Vern Cotter was assistant at the, at the Crusaders. So um, I hope, I think Dave, Dave Rennie's um, got more about him than just relying on his assistant. So I'm hopeful that he can, he can lift the Wallabies and do a really good job um, because... Australia being strong at rugby union is um, is good for the game overall. So we will see. We'll watch the situation with interest, but um, we're not going to really get to see uh, some of the fruits of his labours until he starts the work proper. So we'll still see him with Glasgow for the time being. But yeah, Dave Rennie will be the next Wallabies coach out of the running. Well, is the next Wallabies coach uh, out of the running for the All Blacks job. And um, yeah, it's good. He's talked about kind of getting involved with the community, and I've seen some of the work he's done in Glasgow around that kind of stuff. So hopefully he's got his, his eyes on um, rugby as a whole in Australia, not just the Wallabies. I think that would be uh, that would be welcome for your average Aussie rugby fan. But um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts. How do you think Dave Rennie is going to go at the Wallabies? Do you think it's a good move? Um, like I said, they haven't announced his assistance, so that's one we'll watch with interest as well. But um, yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.